It's a large picture book. I heard that Kizzy likes picture books and fairy tales and all that. Does this represent her feelings? It is worth a look. There's writing. Little Blue Riding Hood. Is that the title? Not read? The text below reads, The girl was chased through the forest by the wolf. Huh? Another picture. This is Blue Riding Hood. Huh? What is that? Wow! What was that? Something fell. Is that Blue Riding Hood? Did she get the wolf? Something came out. Let's take a look. Diary? Doesn't say anything? It appears to be more of a continuation from the picture book than a diary. Let's read it. It was a little child wearing a blue hood. She rose her fist and bravely scared the wolf away. The girl thanked the blue hooded hero, but she scoffed in return. Can you not walk? Fool. Blue Riding Hood was a little rude, but the girl smiled. Blue Riding Hood carried the girl on her back and took her home. The two of them were surprised when they got there. From that day on, Blue Riding Hood was family. What a great introduction! Thank you, big sis. The girl took her hand, but she made a weird face. Maybe she was just being shy. But in any case, she said, Nice to meet you, with a nod. Big Sis always was the courageous one. Ah, the memories. Big Sis must be that girl she's always talking about. Right. Perhaps she saved her from a dog or something when she was younger. That experience turned into the story of Little Blue Riding Hood. So that picture book was a story of Kizuna's memories. Something happened to the book. Check it out. More writing. The two of them never left each other's side. They went to the forest together. More new pictures. It's a large picture book. It has different pictures from before. This time, it's... Hannah and Gretel. It's a little different from the story I know. Below it, Hannah and Gretel found a house made out of candy in the forest. Huh? That's not a house made of candy. That's a witch! Mizuki, there is more witchiness over there. Lots of stuff this time. Let's look. A candle in the shape of a witch. Something is suspicious about it. It's a witch-shaped candle. This does not seem to be modeled after anything specific. The candle is made of paraffin. Standard wax. So you can use it then? Yes. I am sure it will burn with fire. Fire? There's something here. A piece of paper. Does it say anything? Hot, hot blaze spell. Ziblato to. Hot, hot blaze spell. Think we can use it for something? Huh? Alone? Yeah. How do you feel? 
like a kid with no friends. There's something on the ground. Pick it up. Splash, splash, water spell. Turp, paw, slash, slash. That's what is written. What could that be? Memorize it, Iba. Good idea. Huh, something's there. A piece of paper? What does it say? Snack transformation spell. Forma Rans Knack Titans. That is what it says. A snack spell? Maybe you can turn something edible. Should I try it on something? It's a big balloon around the swing set. Very suspicious. I wonder if something's hidden there. Oftentimes insomnia, secrets are protected by such things. I am sure there is something there. Focus your key on your fingertip and thrust as hard as you can. Ha! Curses! Repelling me away like the belly of an old man. Nah, fat old men's bellies aren't that bouncy. Have you tried it before? I've stepped on one. The police chief. How do you still have a job? On the contrary, I got hired by Abyss because of that. It's a witch-shaped candle. Skewer that candle and cook it. This is not a barbecue. I will light the fire. Hot, hot blaze spell. Zebla to to. Oh, it lit up. The candle is gone. Iba, look! The witch in the picture book! So the witch candle must be tied to the picture. The witch is gone. Now we have these assorted snacks. Huh. Something came out over there. Let's go. A large chocolate chip cookie. It must contain at least three days' worth of calories. That cookie in the picture book was partially eaten, right? Try to bite it the same way. I see. That may indeed trigger something. All right, here I go. Ah! Uh... Oh, that's a huge bite. Another book. I'll read it. Father, you liar. How many times have you lied to me? Gretel finally shed a tear. Ever since her mother died, her father has been working all the time. She barely got to spend any time with him. Her father gave her tons of snacks, but Gretel was not happy. Do not worry. I'll beat up any evil-doing witches around here. Her father would reassure Gretel after hearing tales of evil witches. But the evil witch was inside Gretel. The witch filled her with sadness and turned her selfish. Her older sister Hannah tried hard to cheer Gretel up, but Gretel's tears didn't stop. Father. This must be her memories of her father, Richi Chieda. It seems that Kizuna was quite sad. I can kind of relate. Oh, the book changed again! We should take a look. More text. Gretel continued to cry and cry for a long, long time. Something happened to the slide. It's a large picture book. This one appears to be Cinderella.
The title is Cinderella. Cinderella. Below that, it says, Cinderella spent a dreamy night with the prince. A castle and a clock. One of the hands fell. It wasn't a regular picture, I guess. This shorthand, can we use it for something? Let's hold on to it, just in case. The clock is part of the slide. On closer inspection, the hour hand is missing. You're right. <laughs> Let's take the shorthand from earlier and there. It fits perfectly. What's going on? This is a crazy trick. Kizuna does appear timid, but I suppose she can be expressive at times. I never would have thought. I guess she hides it well. Another change to the picture book. Where should we start? Oh? A time capsule. That's right, it was buried here. A time capsule? Six years ago, Leon proposed to Kizzy. He gave her glass slippers instead of an engagement ring. They agreed that if they felt the same way after six years, yada yada yada. Anyway, they decided to bury the thing here till the time came. I completely forgot about it. But it looks like Kizzy remembered. So inside, there is an engagement... shoe? Just one, though. The other's missing. I wonder if it's around here somewhere. Huh, it opened. Perhaps it will not work with just one shoe. Hmm, that's a good point. It's the entrance to Iowan. I can see a glass slipper inside. The door is closed. Probably locked. Hmm, this... If we know the four-digit code, we can open this. Four digits long, huh? No time to brute force it, I guess. Oh, wait. It has a colon here. Yeah? Interesting. It worked. I had a feeling the time on the clock was the key. A glass slipper. The right one, to be exact. This has got to have some kind of significance. We should hold on to it for now. A time capsule. It contains one glass slipper. Got it. It turned into a picture book again. Big Sis found out about Cinderella's dream and started panicking. Cinderella, even if someone proposes to you, you can't just accept it right away. Don't answer until you know who they really are. Wait five or six years. This was her advice to Cinderella. Big Sis was worried about her naive little sister. Cinderella thought it was a bit much, but she smiled. If I ever meet a person that important to me, I will introduce them to my big sister first. It would be so much fun to share a meal together. And so, Cinderella dreamed another dream.
I received those wonderful slippers, but I cannot dance anymore. I am not worthy of him. I cannot be his princess. What should I do? Big sis. Kizzy. Is that the bell? The clock moved. Midnight. The time her spell wears off. What's going on? No more. Show me no more. Let me hear no more. I don't want this anymore. Stopped. The spell wore off. Kizuna must feel that she can no longer be a princess. What should we do? Kizuna doesn't want to look anymore. I don't want her to suffer, but we have to keep going. The picture book is closed and covered in thorns. Kizuna must have sealed her heart away. I can see the cover through the thorns. What's it say? Maybe we can turn it into a snack. Snack transformation spell! Form a Ren Snack Titans! It worked! It looks the same. Try eating it. How is it? Hmm, nope. I only taste blood. Does it say something? Yes, another spell. Or a counter spell to be precise. Transformation Dispel. Former Rand's Titan Sid. A transformation dispel. Was anything transformed? Maybe you can use it on that thing. The picture of the frog with the crown. Wasn't there a clock here earlier? Why did it change? I think it might be hidden. Let's go! Transformation Dispel! Form a Rand's Titan Sid! Is this the rudder of a ship? Or the wheel part of a spinning wheel? Right, the Thorn Princess. This wheel has the numbers 1 through 12 on it. It's like a clock. It's the wheel part of a spinning wheel. The Thorn Princess sleeps when she is pierced by the needle on the spinning wheel. Should I not touch it? We're practically sleeping already. Just do it. You're not taking this very seriously. Turning this makes the ground move. Just like the clock from earlier, it's connected to the floor here. If this is supposed to represent a clock, maybe we can change the time. So if we turn it clockwise, we can get new information. We can check the swings. The Thorn Princess continued to sleep. She slept to avoid facing her sadness. She slept, trapped by terrible memories. She did not want to be hurt by them anymore. No need to cry and shy away anymore. But, but why? Why do I keep waking up? Why do I keep remembering it? My chest aches. My heart breaks with yours. Never again! I never...
never knew this is how she felt. Any more of this could leave her hurt. Should we continue, Mizuki? It would be worse to leave her like this. Something's weighing on Kizzy's heart, and I want to take that burden away. She's one of my best friends. I understand. I believe in you, Mizuki. I want to stay together! Kizuna? You said you will be with me forever! Is this when she and her older sister got split up? But... please... Fine. Will you at least play a game with me? Remember how we used to kick our slippers up? You used to beat me all the time, but now I... If I win, please stay. Please. The rules are simple. Kick the shoe further to win. And just like we used to, it will be best of three. Shall I go first? Yeah, let's do this. Yay, we won! Hooray! <laughs> Aren't you enjoying this a little too much? <laughs> Witness me, Mizuki. Observe my perfect control! The thorns! I suppose there is no beating you, big sis. This... memory... It must be the memory hidden away, deep in Kizuna's heart. Inhumane genome experiments, carried out at Horidori's research facility. What? This is... what Kizuna was hiding. in his father's diary. Kizzy, is this? Yes, the diary that was in the chairman's office. This morning, father asked me to look for something in the office. I accidentally knocked some books off the shelf, and I saw this. When it fell to the ground, this page was open, face up. I knew I should not have read it. I regretted it immediately. Terrible things were written there. Things about a girl whose genes were forcibly rewritten. Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, I think it would be best if you read this.
Mizuki. The family name was Okiura. M Mizuki? I'm genetically modified? But what about Daddy and Mom? They weren't my real parents? No way. Chikara's left half. Mizuki, are you okay? Yeah. It's not the first time I've seen a dead body. That is not what I am referring to. You hardly got any sleep last night. You must be mentally exhausted. No, I suppose that is perfectly understandable. Anyone in a similar situation would... It's fine. That's that, this is this. Let's just focus on the investigation. The body is Chikara's. If we can figure out more about this case, we can figure out other things. No way. It can't be. What? Did you think I came here to play frisbee? I came after I heard about what happened. I need to solve this case. It's my destiny. The investigation is at a standstill. Honestly, things aren't looking good. But that's no reason to abandon this case. Mr. Date wouldn't want me to just give up. He told me something. Ryuki, you have the potential to become our ace at Abyss. I believe in you. And I need to live up to those words. I... I need to arrest Terror with my own hands. What's wrong? Well, thinking about what happened six years ago, how could this happen? Anyway, that half of a body is definitely Chikara's. I saw Chikara's right half at Seki Bahai. This is the other half. Huh? What? Like, mentally. You know. I'm fine. I'm more worried about you. You okay? What are you talking about? You seem kind of down. N no, I'm fine. Okay, if you say so. Nothing in particular. Park cameras didn't pick up anyone suspicious. Means no witnesses. We got nothing. I never thought Horadori's left half would be found like this. This is downright supernatural. I don't get it at all. Someone who was jogging early in the morning. He said when he found the body, he didn't see anyone else around. He's getting interrogated back at HQ right now. I'm sure he's got nothing more to offer, though. The DNA results came back already. There's no doubt this body is Chikara Horadori's. Estimated time of death is 2.11 at 8 p.m. Nothing on his person. I want to solve this case so bad. It has to be me. Well, see ya. I wonder if Ryuki is okay. He seemed a little panicky. Yes, but we shouldn't worry about him right now. We should search the area, Mizuki. Maybe we can find some sort of clue. Yeah, got it. Let us begin. We should search this area. On it. It is Chikara Horadori's left side. It is cut at the molecular level. There are no other wounds to the body. 
This must be the cause of death. It is safe to presume the culprit is the same. Terror. This should be clear, but this is almost definitely not the murder scene. There are no traces of blood anywhere. The time of death is accurate to what the inspector told us. Last night, around 8 o'clock on the 11th. But why? A stone monument. Mizuki, check the backside as well. It's an owl-free vending machine. Non-alcoholic beer. This used to be the machine room. It was used to house the pump that regulated the flow of the fountain. But records indicate it is no longer in use. Looks like there's something there. We should take a look. A balloon? It seems to be. It's two colors. Half is red and the other half is blue. There's something inside. No need to use x-ray. We can see inside. Mizuki, try popping it. On it! Two X's? Or perhaps two pairs of intersecting arrows. Hmm. What is this? Letters inside the body? There are metal plates embedded into the corpse. They appear to be alphabetic letters. R-L-E. That seems to be the case. Mizuki, recall Chikara's right half found at Sekiba High. Do you remember that his innards were completely removed? Yeah. But this half is different. They are all intact. How is it standing? Rigor mortis and ambient temperature. His body is frozen, and the stone monument reads sub-zero. The body is frozen at the contact point. Got it. Mizuki, allow me to say something. If only Chikara had more... Guts. Now I'm going sub-zero. What is this? A mixture of iron powder, activated carbon, and saline solution. The contents of a disposable hand warmer. Something is written here. It is emitting heat. If you use thermo mode... It says A-E-F. What do you think, Mizuki? Letters on the body in the monument and the piece of paper in the balloon. Terror is just playing with us. He does seem to be taunting us. Perhaps challenging us? It is certain that the culprit must have planted these clues. Mizuki, you need to solve this. You can do it. Yeah, I'll do my best. Those are the clues we have so far. The letters A-E-F on the monument. The letters R-L-E inside the body and the piece of paper with the two pairs of intersecting arrows. Do you know what this could mean? Think, Mizuki. I see. Alfrey. Our search should be related to that. It's here. Correct. The Alfrey vending machine. Terror must have led us to this spot. So, is the message, search the Alfrey? I suppose so. And let's get right to it. Wait, what are you going to do, exactly? I'm going to buy an all-free. But you cannot. You are only 18. But this is non-alcoholic beer. Well, it is true that it is technically legal for a minor to purchase non-alcoholic beer. But you have to understand the social and cultural ramifications. So what do you want me to do? Well, if we don't have any other options, let's ask the inspector. I see. I can make an exception. Hey, I'm Inspector Man. Nice to meet you. What's going on here? This is a VR environment. The actual inspector is not present. So what up? You need something? Uh, I was gonna ask for a favor, but... Hold it. This footage is weak. Weak? It will be too short. What's too short? My very important film. In any case, it is time to roll cameras. No rehearsals. Here we go. Ready? Action! But this part... 
Oh, this part is easy. You just have to pop, pop. What are you talking about? I get it, I get it. You want me to buy one? Yeah, could you? Absolutely! Great, thanks! Wait, this isn't all free. Open it. Oh! A challenge from Terror. Bring it on. I'm up for any challenge. Do you realize how big Tokyo is? How are you going to search for them? Isn't it obvious? I'll do it on foot. No balloons here. Mama at Marble may have information. Yeah, good idea. I'll ask her. Oh, you don't have to tell me. Chikara's left side was found at Yoyagi Park, right? Wow, information gets to you fast. I know when to make things quick, and when to take my time. <laughs> I've got a riddle for you. If you get it right, drinks on me. What happens when you get rough with a fuzzy navel? It spills, honey. Hey, have you seen any red and blue balloons? I haven't, but I can ask the milky balls. Oh, mighty balls, who is the biggest liar in the world? Those bags that say tear here. Oh. Absolutely right. What is with that? Who cares about that? That is totally unrelated. Sorry, that was my heart screaming out to be heard. I don't need to hear your heart screaming right now. <clears throat> now, let's try this for real. Oh, balls, the great and powerful, please find something for me. Where are the red and blue balloons? You should go to Ikume Shrine, where the fruit of immortality resides. You will find it there. Ooh, did that work? Hmm, yeah. I have a little nugget of information regarding Horadori. You have dirt on Chikara? The most pungent of dirt always makes its way to my nose. So what information do you have? Chikara was a devoted believer of a new religion called the Order of Percent, and their dirt is quite fragrant indeed. Anyway, he really believed in the simulation theory. The Order of Percent is a holy sign of the Creator. The one who is the one who created this world. They intentionally abandoned their memories so they could voyage through this world of lies. 
which is why we worship the one with the sun. The Crescent. What was that? Part of their new scripture, I suppose. Smells fishy if you ask me. No fishier than you. What's the sign of percent? That I don't know. But I have a feeling it has to do with the case. You know, the percent sign is two circles separated by a line. If you ask me how that's significant, I couldn't tell you. But this order of percent must be involved in all this somehow. Well, I guess we should head to Ikume Shrine. You actually believed her? Not necessarily, but it's something. Something, huh? Thanks, Mama. That was a big help. I don't know how any of that information helped you. But if it did, that's great. Come back again whenever. I'll be waiting. It's you. What happened? Uh, forget about me. What's with your voice? It's a long fucking story. What do you want? I wanted to ask you something. Is it okay that I'm here for this? Yeah, it's fine. The more information, the better. How about that? Blue and red balloons. Oh, I saw one at Iowan earlier. The orphanage? Yeah, it was tied to a tree. I mean, I didn't get a good look at it. It was just out of the corner of my eye. Thanks, I'll go check it out. But why were you there? I was there to see my beautiful princess. Uh, that's a bizarre situation. I don't really know what happened, but I will say this. He got what was coming to him. You know that I was a janitor at Horadori Institute, right? Director Horadori and I talked. I heard a bunch of rumors. Rumors? It would take a while to explain, so I'd rather tell you later. But... Mizuki, I admit I am curious as well. However... Right, we need to focus on the balloons. <laughs> Why don't you ask him that? Balloons, huh? I wish I could float like a balloon. Haven't seen any. There are supposed to be three balloons. You haven't heard about any of them being spotted? Sorry, I got nothing. Damn. We know terror is abnormal. I figured since you're abnormal too, maybe you'd have an idea. I'm not abnormal. I'm the most normal. When he raises his voice like that, it is not what I would call convincing. This is a Voch Locho. A what? A voice-changing lock choker. It's a necklace thing that can change your voice. If I wear this, I can have the perfect voice. The perfect voice? So you actually want to sound like that? No! You got it all wrong! This was a gift! It came preset like this! Who gave it to you? Jinpei! He gave it to me yesterday. He said it was a thank you gift. I have analyzed the voice. The voice he is using now is that of Iris Sagan. Right. I knew I recognized it. Mama and Chimpei are hardcore ASET fans. Or perhaps I should say, Tessa fans. So Chimpei gave him that Voch Locho with Iris's voice set as the default? It seems that way. What a creep. I agree. <laughs> the thing about that is... I lost the key. How? Well, I was getting pretty into the booze here at the office last night with this thing on. 
So you were playing around with it. The more details he gives, the creepier he sounds. I woke up, and I couldn't find the fucking key! I thought I had put it somewhere safe or something, but I couldn't remember. So that's why he called on my services as a lockpick to help. I've known Leon for years. I know what he can do. <laughs> thanks. But those are days I would rather forget. I never will. Do you have any idea how much money you made me? I'm sure you know this already, but this guy here? That's in the past. I've gone clean. Anyway, Leon, get this thing off me. I got shit to do today. <laughs> Why don't we leave it on for a bit? Let me hear that cute voice a little longer. Burn it, hell! Hey, Leon! Please! Can you get this thing off me already? The... <clears throat> Joker! What's going on? MoMA is losing circulation to his brain. The choker must be preventing blood flow. Lian, please! Yeah, got it. Ugh, this old geezer. His breath stinks. That's not the concern right now. This is life or death. I can't help it. My sense of smell is better than a giant pouched rat. What the hell kind of animal is that? Couldn't you have just said dog? Mizuki, look for the key! The key? The key that will unlock the choker! I thought I had put it someplace safe or something, but I couldn't remember. Is that a hidden safe? It appears to be. There's an ASAP figure, and... There it is! It's the key! Yes, I am sure it is. But why does he have an ASIT figure? Mizuki, focus! You saved me! Sorry about all the ruckus. Thanks. You should thank Lian. He's the one who opened the safe. Haha! <laughs> the master of unlocking at your service. Nah, hold on. That don't make sense. Wouldn't picking open the choker be easier than picking the safe? Eh, whatever. Mizuki, we need to continue our investigation. Right, we need to find the balloons. Oh, I have an idea. Hey, MoMA, can I borrow your Vochlocho? Yeah, sure. You saved my life. I owe you one. Thanks, MoMA. Now then, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>